back to the channel. In today's video, it is just me today. I'm gonna be sharing things I did at my wedding that I loved. So the first thing that I did at my wedding that I really, really loved was me and Carter were announced first after the ceremony and we were the first ones in for the reception. We were the first ones in from our bridal party and our parents. Obviously all of our guests were already inside because we had cocktail hour while we took photos. So traditionally, the DJ will announce the parents and the bridal party and then the bride and groom last. Me and Carter wanted it a little different. We wanted to be announced first as Mr. and Mrs. Farr and we wanted to come in and be the first ones in so that was really cool and not to mention we got to announce our own family and bridal party. So the DJ gave us a mic at our table and Carter did all the talking. I was just kind of there but Carter did a really good job at it and he announced our first he announced, I believe, our parents. Then he announced our nephews, which were our ring bearers. And then he announced each of our bridal party couples. So, so we kind of went down the list of how they were standing. Whoever walked down last came in first and then the next. And then my maid of honor and Carter's best man walked in together and they were the last ones into the reception. And so we kind of got to announce our bridal party and our family and that was kind of special. We kind of just got to be a part of it and just, it, I don't know, it was so cool announcing them into the reception and it was really fun. Each of the, even our parents did a little dance and then each of our bridal party couples did a little dance, had props and everything. They all picked their songs. They came into a certain song that we gave to the DJ and it was really really cool so I highly suggest doing that if you're not afraid of uh, speaking public speaking Carter did all of it so I really can't speak for him but it was easy for me because I just kind of laughed and it was just really special it was one of my favorite moments in the whole wedding the next thing that I loved was we played the shoe game now there are different names for this game you can use a mallet or you can use a shoe Lots of times the bride, so the bride and the groom will sit back to back in chairs. They'll give each other one of their shoes. So you have your shoe in one hand and your bride or groom in the other hand. And the DJ will go ahead and list off who would do this. And you either have to raise the bride's shoe or the groom's shoe. Now the bride and the groom are the only ones playing. So the guests just watch, which is super fun for them. They were having a ball. It was really, really fun. And the funny thing is we can't even see each other, so we don't know what each other's picking. So some of the questions were, who's the better driver? And so obviously I held up my shoe and Carter held up his shoe and it was just funny. And then there's a really funny question and it was like, who's gonna most likely say, oh, I'm too tired, not tonight. And that one, that was like, I had put up Carter's shoe and Carter put up his shoe and it was really, really funny and the guests and our family, they thought that was really funny too. So we actually didn't have shoes, we had mallets. We had a black mallet and a white mallet. So that's what we held up instead of shoes, but basically the same thing. You could honestly do anything, but the shoe game is really, really fun. And my DJ already had a provided list of questions and had the mallets himself, but you could always give your DJ questions and you can use shoes, so it's really up to you. So the next thing at our wedding that I did like was we had no kids. The only kids we had were our four nephews, which they were in the wedding, and that was super special to us because they are the kids that mean the most to us, and it was honestly fun to have them there. We did not want a wedding with a ton of kids everywhere. If we would have invited every kid in our family, we would have had more kids than adults, and we just wanted an adult wedding. We had some family members not like that, and ended up not coming, and it was really unfortunate, but that's just how it was. I I mean, I guess we're not gonna please everyone, and if you are planning your wedding, this is your day. You do what you wanna do, don't do what anyone else tells you, just do whatever you wanna do. But we had no kids, and yeah, that caused, that was very stressful. But at the end of the day, I'm glad we did it, and I don't regret it, because it was our wedding day, we didn't want kids running everywhere. We were fine with our nephews because they just, they were, they're like our own kids to us. And it was like totally fine to have them for there. But if we would have invited any more kids, I just think it would have been too many. And that's 
just not what we wanted for our special day. Now, this next thing has to be probably my favorite thing that I did at my wedding. And I think about it and it just makes me smile and I highly suggest doing this to any future bride. And that is, I did a first dance with my mom. So my mom put in the most work ever. She made sure my day was as special as could be. She made sure everything was perfect. She went above and beyond to make me and Carter's wedding the best. And we were talking and you know, my dad got a first dance. My dad got to walk me down the aisle. Obviously my dad helped in other ways for the wedding, but my mom did probably 98% of this wedding. And <laughs> the fact that, you know, my dad got to do all the special things. I felt like it wasn't very fair to my mom. So I wanted to do something really special. I did not tell her about this. I told very few people. I think I told my aunt and I told my maid of honor and maybe my mother-in-law at some point, but I think it was pretty close to the wedding when I told her. And I told my DJ, I said, I want to do a special first dance with my mom, but I want it to be a surprise. So he was like, oh, perfect, love that idea. So I picked a song. It's a song by Carrie Underwood. So the song that I picked out was Mama's Song by Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood is one of my mom's favorite singers, and this song basically talks about, the song makes you tear up. <laughs> it basically talks about, um, like, don't worry about me because I found a good one, which was obviously Carter and I don't know. It, <laughs> it makes me want to, it like makes me tear up and cry. So hold on. Okay, now that I've like semi collected myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I picked this song. I thought it was perfect for what I wanted this dance to mean. And the DJ was like, okay, after you do your dance with your dad. And then Carter does, or after me and Carter do our dance, and then I do my dance with my dad, and then Carter does his dance with his mom, I, he said that he will announce that I had a special surprise for my mom. And so Carter got done with his dance with his mom, and I stood up, and the DJ was like, Lindsay wants to, has a special surprise for her mom. And she like knew immediately, and she started bawling her eyes out. And so we went to the dance floor and we were singing the song and it was just the most, I don't know, it, it was just, it was amazing. And I think back to that moment all the time and it, I'm glad that I was able to have that moment with my mom on my wedding day because I feel like a lot of it was either me and Carter and then me and my dad and I just feel like, I don't know, it was just a special moment. I highly suggest doing that because your mom does a lot for you. So my last favorite thing that I did for my wedding was Carter's, so let me, let me explain this the right way. Carter's great aunt married us. Yes, okay. So Carter's grandfather's sister was our officiant, I believe that's what it's called, and she married us, and that was so special because, you know, if you have a stranger up there, which is fine, whatever you do for your wedding, you do what works best for you. Someone we knew very well, and she spoke from the heart, and she really knew us, and it was super special, and I'm so grateful that she did that, and she traveled all the way to marry us, and her partner actually was the, did the keyboard and did our music for our ceremony, which was also very special. And I'm so thankful for that as well. But it was just really, really special. So if you know someone who can marry you, try to get them to do it because it's, it's honestly so much more special and so much more meaningful. But any way that you have your wedding will be beautiful as well. So that is all the things I have for today. I do have a long list of things that I did at my wedding that I love. I will be doing multiple parts of this. I could go on and on and this could be hours long. Like I said, this was my favorite day ever and there's so many things that I loved about my wedding. So I definitely will be doing more parts to this. These are just a few of the things I wanted to start out with in hopes that if you are planning your future wedding, that maybe it helps you and gives you some ideas for your wedding to make it as magical as it can be. And don't forget that planning a wedding is stressful, but it also is amazing and it goes by extremely fast and take every moment in, even if it is the most stressful day ever picking out all your stuff just 
be in the moment, be present, and do whatever works best for you and your future husband. Don't listen to anyone else, unless you're asking for advice. But if you don't wanna do something, you don't do it. If you wanna do something, then you do it. And yeah, that's the best advice I can give you, is try not to let other people's opinions steer you for your special day, because it is your special day. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys maybe learn something from this or maybe you guys will use this for your future weddings. If you guys have any more questions or wanna leave any comments, go ahead and comment down below. If you have any questions about wedding or how I did something at my wedding, go ahead and also let me know that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.